Hi there, welcome to this series of tutorials on uh, inter interview questions related to collections. So in the previous videos we looked at an uh, overview of the collections framework, what are the interview questions related to that, we looked at what are the interview questions related to the list interface. In this video we'll look at what are the interview questions which are related to a map interface and later we'll move on to in the next video to the set interface. So uh, if you are really interested in the details there are about 20-25 videos on our channel which takes you in detail through the collections framework and all that kind of stuff so you go through them. Uh, for now we'll shift to the current topic at hand which is the map interface interview questions. So what are the different interview questions which are related to a map interface which are usually asked in an interview. So the first interview question which is really uh, asked regarding a map interface is does it really implement a collection interface? Is map really a collection interface? Uh, yes or no? Okay, we'll get to that. And what is the difference between hash map and hash table? What is the difference between hash map and pre map? These are the kinds of questions which are usually asked during an interview. So let's get to the map interface first. The first most important confession we need to make is a map is not really a collection interface in that sense. So a map does not extend collection. So the map interface does not in extend the collection interface. A list interface and a set interface actually extend the collection interface. But the map interface does not extend the collection interface. That is a very important point to note. So map does not really like the main difference between a collection and a map is collection is for a set of values. So in a collection you can have 100 values, 200 values, whereas a map is for a set of key value pairs. So a map stores key and value. So I can say I want this key and this value. So I want to, I can say key 1, value 1, key 2, value 2, key 3, value 3. So that's the basic difference between a collection and a map. In a collection, usually you store a list of values. So I can say a list of values are A, comma B, comma C. So you can store a list of values in a collection. However, a map is used to store a list of key value pairs. So I would store this key has this value, this key has this value. And you would have methods in the map which are used, which are actually acting based on the keys. So what is the value of this key? Can I store the value of this key as this? Like, is there a key with this name? Those kinds of methods are offered by the map interface. So if you look at it, you would have get value at a key, put key comma value, remove a key. You can also put all from another map. So I have a map and I can take all the key value pairs and add it to the current map. You have methods similar to other collections like clear, is empty, size, size returns how many elements are there in the map, is empty makes it, it checks whether it's empty or not, is there an element or not and those kind of stuff. And there are also other things which are related to key set. So all I can get a set of all the keys. So if I have uh, these three things in, stored inside a map, then the key set is basically a set with these three values, key one, key two, and key three. Only the keys in a separate set. So those are the basic things which are present in the map interface and that's the basic difference between a map and a collection. So map is not really a collection in the sense that it doesn't extend the collection interface. Map is used to store a key value pairs, whereas a collection is used to store just a list of values. So that's the first question answered. Now let's move on to the next question which is what is the difference between a hash map and a hash table? Hash map is kind of the basic implementation of a map. So it, it allows you to store, or it implements the basic things about all the methods inside the map interface. So you'd be able to add a key, remove a key, add key value and those kind of stuff. So it's, it's kind of basic. The major difference between a hash table and hash map is that the methods in hash table are synchronized in the sense that the hash table methods in a multi-threaded environment only one thread would be executing that particular method. So that's the major difference between a hash map and a hash table. The methods in hash table are synchronized or 
most important methods in hash table are synchronized and thereby there would be able, only one thread would be executing them at a point in time so in a multi-threaded environment you would go for a hash table rather than a hash map but ob obviously multi-threading has its own performance impacts so my hash table will be slower than a hash map so if you are in a single threaded environment you can go with a hash map if you are in a multi-threaded environment you can go with a hash table if you are really uh, picky then probably this is also another difference you can in a hash map you can store a key with null so i can say uh, hash map dot put null comma something but a hash table doesn't allow that so if you say hash table dot put null it would throw an error so that's if you are really picky about things but uh, the major difference between hash table and uh, hash map is to do with the fact that a hash table is synchronized i mean hash table has synchronized method which are thread safe the next one is what is the difference between linked hash map and hash map the linked hash hash map stored the key like stores the values in the insertion order so it basically stores the value in the order they are inserted so if i inserted uh, key 5 first and key 2 next then it would store in that order key 5 would be first and key 2 in the, will be in next order hash map ha was unsorted and unordered whereas linked hash map is insertion order is maintained so the order of insertion for a linked hash map is maintained so that's a major difference between a hash map and a linked hash map uh, the linked hash map has slower insertion and deletion but faster iteration so you would be able to iterate faster but you it takes a long time uh, like it's slower than a hash map in terms of insertion and deletion now what is the difference between a hash map and the tree map the difference is that in a tree map the keys are stored in a sorted order so let's say I'm inserting the va keys in a, some random order a tree map stores the keys in sorted order so all the values all the key value pairs in the tree map are stored in the sorted order of the keys so if i'm inserting uh, five values with five different keys then all the values are stored in the tree map in the sorted order of the keys so it will be let's say if the keys are alphabetical then it will be uh, all things starting with a all keys starting with a first all keys starting with b next and those kind of stuff so that's the major difference between a tree map and uh, the hash map also another thing that a tree map implements is it it's addition implements an additional interface called a navigable map which allows you to do a little more than what a map allows so a navigable map interface allows you to do a few more things than the map so the tree map in that sense can do a little more than a usual hash map so those are the major differences between a tree map and a hash map so those are the important map classes in java so those are uh, the four important match classes the way i remember is anything starting with a hash is unsorted unordered anything starting with a linked is ordered i mean insertion order is maintained anything starting with a tree is uh, sorted so sort it will be stored in the sorted order so if you remember these three key things i think uh, all the rest of this stuff should become really easy so those are the important questions which are related to the collections and in particular to the maps uh, do look up the other series of videos on our channel which are covering all the details about the various classes which we are talking about we have a series of 20 videos which look at all the other stuff related to the uh, collections interface in detail and if you are looking for the interview questions go do look for the other interview questions on collections and other interview questions in general as well so until next time bye if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye